and good evening yes we're back we're back again it's friday night uh it's train sim night which has seemed to be a thing uh for the last few weeks end of the week uh thought we'd chill uh with some train sim and i've literally just downloaded or re-downloaded um a, a line that uh, i haven't done at all i think uh because i haven't got the trains for it uh, so we'll jump straight in. If you're new to my videos and watching this on YouTube, uh, welcome. Train Sim seems to be a thing that's happening on a Wednesday. Um, um, and um, yeah, we'll continue uh, on a Wednesday uh, until something else comes along, basically. Um, right. Uh, so the Just Trains Chilton Mainline is what I'm going to focus on. Um, I was going to do this Class 165 um, 110 minute route. Um, but now thinking maybe um no i will um snow hill to marleybone um drive chilton dmu on the 11 12 birmingham snow hill to london marleybone in the summer of 2016 what a great summer that was was it i don't know i can't remember that far back um or we'll click on go yeah if you're new to my videos welcome uh train sims on a wednesday with me um omzi the bus simulator on a monday something from either firm bus or tourist bus uh on a friday um, currently is a series if you're watching this uh, around the time of release um on a thursday is forza horizon 4 for the thursday a um, bit of a series going on there um and um occasionally some flight on a saturday as well on a bit of sky high saturday so plenty of content on youtube for me as well as me live over on twitch if you're watching this on youtube uh, where i stream on a friday and a saturday um so plenty of content from me please do hit that subscribe button uh, if you haven't done already Okay, um, right, we're at Birmingham Moor Street, platform one. Um, and we've got to let passengers... Come on, driver, please depart immediately. Your first stop is instead of London, the Birmingham Moor Street, 1114. Oh, okay, we're not at Birmingham Moor Street, platform one then. So we'll depart straight away then, in a class 165. So you'll go up a little tiny bit. So not the greatest of trains, uh, according to Larwood. But um, we want to get done for speeding already, do we? And I have. <laughs> that lasted, didn't it? Yeah, I haven't been to Moore Street Station uh, up in Birmingham. For a long, long time. A line that I used to travel um, fairly regularly in and out of Birmingham um, going back uh, a fair number of years. And I think this um, train, according to Larwood, does go through some of my old stomping grounds. So we shall see. So yeah, fairly long route this one. So it will just be this one route for this whole video or stream. And we're on a bit of a downhill section down to Moor Street. And it is looking rather dark in here. I can see the light. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And there it is, just there. So we're due in. Okay, first stop. We're due in at 11.15.06, 11.14. So we're... She's not doing too bad on time. I think so too. First stop. We don't have fail yet, do we? So when we come to Moor Street. Stop most of it. actually all the trains made it onto the platform. Yay, and all the doors opened as well. So where are we going? Uh Birmingham Moor Street, Solly Hole, um, Dorridge, uh, Warwick Parkway, uh, Leamington Spa, Banbury, um, Bista, and London Marleybone. So a few stops. There's gonna be a few big gaps, I think, in between, so hopefully chance to uh, let this thing stretch its legs. 
I'm not sure how rapid it's going to be. Right, next stop, Solihull, 11.23. Fairly diesel as a noise. It's a little bit slow. But we can live with that, I guess. Right, we've got a 60 mile an hour limit coming up. Actually, yeah, it doesn't sound too bad. Hi, guys. I've not seen that sort of thing before. A bit of smoke coming out of the chimney. It's like someone's sending a distress signal. Help, I'm trapped in this chimney. Uh, Gazara, thank you very much for the uh, subscription. Four months in a row. Much appreciated. Uh, thank you for... Uh, Thank you for passing that my way, guys. I do really appreciate it. Thank you. So, 60 coming up now. All right. And, wow, two on the trot. Uh, Mad Northern Viking. Uh, thank you very much as well uh, for uh, subscribing. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, thank you, Noz. Thank you, Gaz. All right, so we've got 5.9 miles to go to uh, Soliol. I'm keen to see where we're going through. If any stations have got names on. I've probably picked the wrong uh, journey to be seeing the uh, train stations of Birmingham, which is what my idea is, because we're coming straight out of Birmingham, straight towards Banbury and Bicester. I've got to Tisley. I'm not stopping there, though. I am, too, driving one of these trains. Oh, Lava is also on the, on the uh, Chilton Main Line. Should have done the same route, Lava. Bit of speeding. Yeah, I don't mind the way it looks, actually. It does look a bit meh from the front. Um, inside view. It's not bad. Actually, sounds okay as well. A bit of noise. horrid trains what the 165 it's a dmu or can you not how can you not like a dmu it's not a pacer you know but it's okay bing oh we've got an 80 coming up and then a 90 oh well i didn't expect that track change but okay high speed slalom for the win We're going across again. We don't want to going down there. It looks a little bit overgrown down there. Don't think many trains have used that in a while. None of your small engines. One bog one for the win. Right, through Tisley. Solly Hole Platform 1 in 3.7 miles. So yeah, it's not bad inside. Quite like the little noises. Um, one big one. Okay, I did. We didn't make sense, but I'm I'm used to that with you guys, really. Um, uh, oh, eighty limit. The, key, the keyboard fairies come in and move the keys around when you're away from the uh, the keyboard. It's a thing that happens. 
Have we got any other it's rear? Oh, that's a great passing shot of the train. Can you see it? It's, it's, it's wow. There it goes. GG game. Oh. We've got, got a really quiet uh, inside view. It's very quiet. Right, 2.4 miles, exactly. Where's the food, Gaz? Is what you've just put there, isn't it? Um, 2.4 miles to go till uh, Solihull. And then we leave the uh, the joys of Birmingham uh, behind us. Oh, my train another way. A little bit juddery, this. So what station is this, then? Has it got a name? I can't read that. I'm not supposed to read that. Okay, that was a station. Uh, right, I should start doing the braking thing, really, just to annoy Larwood, because I'll brake early. Right, 1.1 miles to go. Yeah, driving everywhere would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Exactly. Although, you know, if you were here last week, there was a couple of times where I overshot the platform completely. I actually quite like the way it sounds inside. You've broken about... Yeah, well, you say this every time, Larwood. I like to break early. They've been rushing up to the platform and stomping the brakes on. You've got to think about passenger comfort. They might arrive late, but they won't arrive with their coffee spilled everywhere. See, it's going to be fine. There you go. Perfect. Nope, oh, no, wrong one. I thought it was me then. I thought, oh, I'm accelerating. Exactly. If you can't tell the train's braking, it means it's a nice smooth driver and he's doing his job properly. You shouldn't be able to size Oi <laughs> It isn't that bad. Right, next stop is Dorridge. And this thankfully this thing accelerates really slowly. Right, Dorridge in 3.3 uh, miles. It does accelerate. This is my sort of train, this, isn't it? Slow. This is how I like my planes. This is how I like my trucks. Uh, like my trains. Uh, my race cars in Forza. They won't notice the theme. Oh, we got a gear change. It's 
Small and underpowered is the thing. Oh, and juddery. Decrepit. Oh, well, not a very nice thing to say about Kaz. Just because he's turned 40 now. Right, it's a good thing these platforms are, these stations are quite far apart, really, isn't it? Because if we're going to have any hope of accelerating this thing, we're going to need a pretty good run up. Well, I didn't say anything. I would called you decrepit, guys. It wasn't me. Let's switch ears. Go to the other ear. Right, Dorage is approaching. And we're still accelerating. Oh, hello. That froze completely. No, don't say train sims died. Yes, it has. Oh, no. And the spinning circle of doom for a second then. Right, I'm going to stop accelerating now. Train. Generally, what you see on train tracks, really, isn't it? You always bring you know, a bit of a shock if you saw a bus coming the other way. Right, see how this works as a slowing down sort of thing. Oh, it's still going to say I started braking about a mile too early. Well, currently it says we're due in 11.28. Uh, uh, we're going to arrive at 11.28. So we're not four seconds behind time. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Even I was impressed with that. Arrived. Look at that. See? Four, six seconds. I can't do maths. Six seconds early. That's yeah, you See? All this early break in Malarkey. luck more than anything else but yeah we got there and how long before we get people walking onto the trains that's what i want to know right next stop warwick parkway 11 38 nine miles Where did she come from? <laughs> she obviously thought sod it as things driving accelerating so slowly. Wow. It's all smoke and noise, this thing, isn't it? Come on, you can do it, train. We might actually get to a decent speed there. We've got nine miles. We've even got the correct lights on as well. 
Why are you sat there like a... You're supposed to be collecting tickets. You're supposed to be asking passengers for their tickets. You're not supposed to be sat looking out the back. I think it's really quiet in here. That's the only problem. Right, 61 miles an hour. Things flying. Definitely a bit juddery this uh, this line. I have just installed it. Not that, that should make a difference. You wouldn't have thought actually from Birmingham to London that they'd use trains like this. You think they'd use something a bit more um, high speed, unless it's because it's going Warwick Banbury. It's not actually the quick route from Birmingham to London, which isn't this way they're not a quick route it is from Birmingham I've never got a train from Birmingham to London oh we're going to break 75 mile an hour in a minute what will this thing do is there a maximum speed sign or anything on it um We've got a phonetic alphabet, just in case we want to panic. Yeah, it's not bad, as far as models concerned. It hasn't got the illuminated clipboard that we had. Well, that we had um, last week. We haven't got to press the buttons to uh, open and close the doors. Uh, we could just use a little shortcutty thing here. Oh, 80. Another eight miles an hour, and we go back to the future. Will we make it? Can this thing get to 88 miles an hour? Not if it keeps juddering like that. This is running off my SSD as well. Eighty-five. Can we get to 88 before I've got a panic and start braking? 86. Now we're going uphill. Now we've got no chance, have we? Not going uphill. Oh, 87. Come on, you can do it. 88. Let's go back to um, was it October 5th, 1985. Uh, might be because I'm streaming at 60 FPS. Yes, I keep meaning to change that from uh, 60 FPS. Uh, but yeah. Now CPU's at 25%. Oh god, we've got an 85. Breaking. Juddering. More breaking. Should I keep under the 85? And it's back up to a 90 down here. And three miles to go to Warwick Parkway. There must be some big distances coming up if this thing's going to take... Oh, shoot. Um, 110 minutes to do the whole journey. balance between acceleration and uh, and braking is trying to get. Where should we be going downhill? 
it says we're going to do it at 11 38 30 and we're going to arrive at 11 37 47 so we're going to arrive a couple of minutes well a minute early which would be very unlike me to do that yeah i know minus 30 is not breaking i know it's idle Might as well stick it at this though, because it creeps back up towards 90. Because we know we've got a station coming up in two miles. In fact, there it is. And there we go. Slowing down. It's so little braking, the speed is actually rising. Yeah. As braking goes, it's having the opposite effect of braking. I think some would call that accelerating, maybe. Wow, this is definitely very juddery. Actually sounds quite nice. I quite like it on tick over. Ah, so we can stop at both of these or not? Warwick Parkway and then Warwick. Why Warwick needs two stations? I don't know, it's not a very big place. It's loading the scenery and it's uh, causing the juddery issues. There we go. Down to a stop we come. Hopefully before I run out of platform. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. The door's going to open. Why did these doors not open then? Why did any of those doors open? It's not like I'm stopped past the end of the platform or anything. That's really odd. Selective door opening. Unless it's people only getting off on those ones. I suppose you have to push the button, don't you, to open these doors. They don't all uh, open automatically. I have a train. Oh, that sounded quite nice. So why is that a different livery to me then? Why has he got a different paint job? Look, just because I arrived earlier, there's no need to keep me here longer. Which I suppose they should be doing, shouldn't they? Because otherwise people would turn up on time and the train's gone. Never understood people would turn up at the very last minute for a train. Right, next stop, Warwick. 11.41 42. Oh, 1.29 miles. Get on train, you can do it. Surely it must have been either this train uh, isn't well modelled against the original, or is the original uh, 165 this slow? Yeah, does the driver just wang the um, the lever forward and just sit back? Can't be this slow, surely. Because that's not very fuel efficient, is it? If you just open the throttle to maximum.
But yeah, but you could say that about anything, wouldn't it? What's the point of speeding up? Because you're going to stop again in 30 miles. Those people that accelerate towards red traffic lights. I see a platform coming up. And there it is. Juddering. Braking. Lots of braking. Overshooting. Damn it. Okay, people got off. So that was a couple of flashing yellows up there, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, speed change or track change? One of those two, isn't it? Something like that. Speeding on a track change? Tracking on a speed change? I don't know. I even watched a video all about it as well. I can't remember these things. Details. We arrived roughly on time though. That's not bad. We're actually early. Next stop, Lemington Spa, 11.45.46. In 1.94. Why do you need three train stations in less than six miles in a rural area like this? In London, I can understand, you know, with tube, tube stations. But why do you need three rural train stations in six miles? Surely they can get rid of at least one of them. Realised Leamington Spa was that close to Warwick either. Been round Warwick a few times. Been to Warwick Castle a couple of times. I need to find a line um, that goes through. The, the new forest. I wonder if there is one. Because I want to catch a train. Um, I want to go down to the new forest. Um, right, now I've got a flash in yellow. 40 coming up, then a 30. And then there'll be a platform here somewhere. There it is, platform. Again, we've braked ridiculously early. some juddering and I'm running the 64-bit version as well but yeah it's probably because my machine's having to cope with uh, playing this at 60 FPS and streaming this at 60 FPS that's a coloured light Right, so in we come to a Lemington Spa. Slowly. That wasn't about me being ridiculous, Tux.
Yeah, I don't think I've ever been into Leamington Spa. Well, I am. Well, okay. That's your opinion, and you're entitled to that. But you're wrong. I'm ridiculous in a nice... How could you be ridiculous in a nice way? It's like saying to someone you're an idiot. In a nice way. Oh, I'm a nice kind of ridiculous, then. Oh, hello. I didn't think we'd be going... Right? No, it's fine. Which I'm guessing we would have to change over here if we're going to... Otherwise, passengers have to jump. Are we going around that side, or are we going down this side? I'm guessing this side. I'm going to get all the train on the platform this time. Yes, we are. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Leamington Spa. See, now, not only these doors opened that time, and those didn't. This is strange. Uh, fine fettle indeed, Mr. McBee. Finest of your fettles. I'm probably in too good a mood. It's not it's not right, it's not normal. Next stop, Banbury. Been a Banbury a few times. Nineteen miles to Banbury. Go on, train, you can do it. He's really thinking, it's barely leaving the platform. How have I missed the thing? If you just step on it, it's going so slowly. I'm worried now. I'm worried Raymond calls me Mr. I called you by your actual name, didn't I, in a text the other week and you were concerned. And why have you just changed the colour of your font? Have you done that yourself? Oh shit, speeding. I mean, oh dear, speeding. Oh, oh, damn it. Just about speeding, then I get the 95 limit. Typical. Right, so off to Banbury is next. 19 miles. I just said that, didn't I? I'll say it again, just in case you weren't listening the first time. I'm actually quite liking the noise this thing makes. It's quite... Well, it's not unpleasant. Put it that way. It's not as nice as a pacer. And I said, I don't actually mind it from in here. But no, it's not unpleasant. It's not the worst... Um, diesel I've heard on here. It's not as nice as the Voyager was the other week. That was so nice. Right, we know this thing will do 88. Will we get to 95? Uh, uphill. Yeah, Voyager's nice. I could have used a Voyager earlier as a route I picked. Uh, until I actually installed this, forgot I installed this, and was about to do a London to Brighton uh, in the Voyager, and then realised, hang on a minute, it's not the one I've just installed. Um, so I jumped in this instead, which Lau had said was the wrong train, or the worst train or something. Um, but this and the Voyager are the only two trains I've got that work on this line. does make me want to watch Back to the Future. Which I keep meaning to get on Blu-ray. I must do that. Anyway, uh, 78 miles an hour. 17 miles to go to Banbury. So far, doing okay. Thankfully it's not a... Um, 
what's the word career um, scenario because we've been a lot of points in the minus I wonder if this would be the fastest that we actually go on this line. Nope, that one I meant to press. It's just eerily quiet. I'm so impressed that my sound actually works properly now. Just because the second slider on my mixer wasn't for some reason taking stereo for about a year. Um, and now I've got true stereo going on. I quite like that. Bing! 88 miles an hour. Cue the music. And the trails coming out of the back of the DeLorean. I'm not feeling at all travel sick now. <laughs> Bing! I actually looked in uh, t today. I looked looked into um, having a trip across to France um, when I go on holiday. Um, so I might do that. So that's going to get me travel sick. Crossing uh, crossing to France by boat in February. Mm, that's not going to be uh, rough at all. Eighty nine point five. Why? Something to do for a day. We have a day trip to France. Quite nice. Well, we are going uphill, but sort of stuck at... Oh, no, no. We might get to 90. Needs to be pretty damn desperate before I consider front. Well, from the south coast, I can't really. Actually, I could probably do Jersey or Guernsey. There's ferries that run there. Jersey's quite nice. I do like Jersey. Bing. All right, slow it down. Because we've got 75 coming up. Well, not as a, a foot passenger, you don't. Yeah, last time I got a ferry to um, Jersey, it was from Paynton, Torquay. It was an ex um, Isle of Wight ferry, uh, one of the little fast catamaran things, um, that um, they decided to run this service from Paynton to Jersey. And God, it was rough. It took like four hours. Um, and uh, yeah, that wasn't pleasant at all. Cheap, but not pleasant. Yeah, I used to go across to Jersey a lot as a kid. It used to be an overnight service. It used to take 11 hours, I think. Yeah, take, take a yellow high-vis and a placard. That's only if you're in Paris. So yes, if I'm not streaming in a few weeks' time, you know why. I've been uh, arrested in uh, in Paris, arrested, arrested in France for not wearing a yellow high-vis. I, I spent a lot of my childhood backwards and forwards across the channel on uh, various ferries. I think pretty much did every um, ferry route 
uh, from sort of Ramsgate and Margate all the way around to uh, Plymouth. back up again now because we've got a 90 coming up. Train. Well if someone else is paying then yeah I'd take the train, try a plane. I'm just trying to th plan things to do when I go on holiday. How do you tick product folder to use a reskin in a scenario? Uh, that's a very good question. And one that hopefully Larwood can answer. Because I'm not sure. But I know a man that does. Right, eight miles to go to Banbury. I'm actually not hating this thing. I like the fact it's single hand operation, so I haven't got to worry about a separate brake lever, although I'm set up for that. Um, doesn't sound horrible. This line is not too bad. I think we're going to get a few delays uh, when we come into London. Bye bye shot. Bing. Oh, we're getting near the back to the future speeds again. So, okay, that was different. Oh, it's Gaz on the side of the road doing nothing. Side of the road, side of the track. I right, have to actually back off. We saw. I have to back off the throttle in a second now. Because we're approaching the speed limit. <laughs> what do you mean, oh, that old chestnut? This is the man that spent uh, some time today sat in a Sainsbury's car park. Eighty nine point two. Well, I'm not saying you don't work, I'm just saying, I just, just you know, I know you can't work whilst the train's coming past. Just a, an observation, that's all. Right, four miles to go. It's Banbury. Bring.
So at least this isn't, I don't mind this train because it's not one that's got the stupid door thing in the middle here. I don't like the ones that you've got the, so you look in that a little tiny window here. At least this you've got a nice big view. Which is quite pleasant. Uh, you miss me accusing Gaz of not doing any work. Uh, right, down to 75, so you want to start braking. Or well, not braking as the speed. Why isn't that braking? Must release, I know. Right, now we need to start breaking really early. Well, Lara, thank you for attempting to answer the question. Um, but I'm guessing the uh, person that asked the question left. Oh, it even sounds nice when it's slowing down. Well, see, now again, I didn't say anything there. <laughs> right, as we slow down to come into Banbury for uh, war breaks out between uh, Gaz and Tut. Oh, that sounds quite nice. I know, Larwood. Well, yeah, that's that's true, I guess. Banbury got so many platforms. Is Banbury that busy? Oh, I like the sound of that, Larwood. Well, yeah, you can only stay in Sainsbury's car parks for three hours. And then you've got to leave, I think. So Gaz has probably had to move on. And open the doors. Cool, I'll have to um, give that a go, Larwood. Uh, maybe next week. In fact, yes. We moved car park. <laughs> right, next stop, Vista North. 14 miles. It's gone quite quickly this route so far, considering it's been uh, nearly an hour.
Evening, Sam. No, exactly, Tux. We all need to learn from Gaz there. When at work and skiving, don't spend three hours in one place. Move. <laughs> and <laughs> Sam arrives, the Tux leaves. Bista is the next station stop. How do you become a good train a good train sim streamer? No idea. I'm expecting a torrent of abuse now. We'll come back from those people watching. And uh, there you go. <laughs> Right, 12 miles to Vista. Cheeky overhead shot. Quite like that. This is no one here with a cough like there was in the uh, 220. You had uh, Elton John, didn't we, across from us last week in the 220. Um, and then someone with a cough and someone with a phone ringing. How far down can we see? Oh, well, we can see quite a way down there. But this way. Ah, normally in these trains there's no back of the carriage. So this is actually quite Yeah. Quite well I've got no legs. Someone's nicked my legs. Um it's quite well done. I'm liking this line. So you've just tuned in. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, train Sim is going to be a fairly regular thing um, to be streamed on a Friday. Uh, good way to relax in way to uh, end the week. If you watch this on YouTube, uh, th that then goes out on the following Wednesday. Uh, so next Friday, it looks like we'll be doing the uh, New Forest um, route in um, advance of me uh, doing it for real. Yes, thank you, Tux. This is the uh, Chilton Main Line, by the way. We started off in Birmingham, uh, Moore Street, and we're ending up in Landon. And we're currently uh, 10 miles from Bicester. Exactly. Yes, yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, for the love of God, why are you so late? Don't start that argument in here, Sam. Just because you're wrong and you're trying to get people to back you up in the, the wrongness that you are being. A debate, by the way, if you are watching, that we've been having on Discord for the last few weeks. Considering a lapsang shushong. Uh, you want to go to the doctors about that. Pretty much maxing out at, wah, at uh, 90. There's Gaz again. Um, at uh, 90. Yeah, I can't share on Twitter at the moment because I haven't got it linked to my um, stream deck. That's something I should do really before I stream again tomorrow. Um, but I won't. It, but it's something I should do. No one follows me on Twitter anyway. Um... Half a mile to go. <laughs> Tea abuser. <laughs> well, that's quite nice. 
as uh, views, well, bridges and things go. These are quite, hang on, I can do the zoom out thing, haven't I? Um, it does look quite nice, doesn't it? I do like that. Oh, that's a nice shot. Oh, that's too close. There you go. Hey, what you make? What, what, just because I put milk in first when making tea, um, that there's something wrong with me. It's gone dark. Hello, I can't see. <laughs> I've gone casually quiet. I haven't gone casually quiet. Don't get the whole milk in first, last debate going on in here. <laughs> right, we got a hundred mile now. I'm trying to bring it back on track now. Um, the hundred mile hour limit now. This thing don't seem to want to get past. Uh, ask good English. Don't. This thing doesn't seem to want to get past uh, ninety. We got five miles to go to get to Vista. Which one of the drivers that uh, works for me? Because um, we I delivers for us Vista. I called it Bicester the other day. Um, it needs to be spread to the masses, but until we can get it to masses, we'll advertise it in here. Yes, thank you, Tux. This will be going on the YouTubes as well. Should I get t-shirts made? I put milk in first. Is that a thing? Right, four miles to go. It's not just me. Uh, who just cheated? Gaz, thank you very much. A couple of bits. Depends whether I like being attacked by Sicilized people. Or are they people from Sicily? <laughs> you reckon I get mobbed in the street if I had a t shirt done with making tea? I put the milk in first. Right, three miles to go. I should start braking now, surely. I start, I start right in the first world. Sicilian folk are, are notoriously violent. Does that mean Tux is from Sicily? looks a bit like Billy Bunter to me. Uh, anyway, right, 2.24 miles to go. <laughs> Especially when their tea is made in the way in correct manner. Uh, <laughs> I've lost weight, Tux. Not drinking not, uh, alcohol, not drinking fizzy drinks. <laughs> I'm still, I'm not. Uh, right. Um, let's back this off now. 1.2 miles to go. So Bista North to me means there's going to be another Bista. There's going to be Bista, isn't there? Again, why do little towns need two train stations? Are people too lazy to walk from Bista to Bista North or get a train? 
no, hang on, that wouldn't work, would it? <laughs> get a bus, get a taxi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For God's sake. Uh, I think it's I don't drink tea. I only drink coffee. But I have to make tea. Evening Petey Boy. And with coffee, yes, the you know what Nest Cafe stuff uh, I drink at work. Milk in first, then a spoonful of coffee, then the water. Right, doing some braking. Where are you driving? We drive. Eh? <laughs> Am I driving any real trains today? Is it pretty delayed? Uh, not guilty, my lord. Hey, I'm on time here. Due in at 12.15.50, arrived, oh, 12.16.30. That's not bad, though. 23 seconds late. That's acceptable, I think. It's not on time, granted, but it's acceptable. So tomorrow night, if you're watching, uh, not sure yet what I will be streaming. It'll be something. Um, last week, we started off doing a uh, ETS2 stream and then realised that there was only three of us. Um, so gave up on that and did some uh, Forza Horizon 4 instead. Um, we're now to run non-stop to London Marleybone where we're due to arrive at 13.08. What? It's like 50 minute non-stop run. 54 miles. Okay, this can... So yes, we'll be streaming tomorrow night, um, but don't know what yet. And then uh, we'll be back uh, yeah, later on, Sam. Uh, we'll be back on Sunday afternoon then uh, with some flight sim. Which seems to be uh, going down quite well. Where we're carrying on... Wherever the hell it was we ended up last time. Somewhere. Off the uh, mainland, off the... To the east of... Um, Lanzarote. I can't remember where it was we ended up. Right, so straight into Marleybone now. I thought it was stopping at Oxford. I'm sure that thing said Oxford. Oh no. Vista Marleybone. So, a 54 mile run now. Pretty much flat out. So one thing I do want to do um, when I resume uh, after next week, when I resume um, streaming again a couple of weeks later, um, is I want to look at some more of the, the ones that we did uh, before, where a few of the maps were joined together. So we did the uh, London to Brighton, London to Bedford, and South London. Um, and all three maps have been stitched together, which was brilliant. Uh, which is really, really good. Um, so I want to have a look and see if there's any others like that, where we where two maps have been stitched together. And uh, see if we can maybe do some of those. So really enjoyable. And I want to try and stick with the UK um, for a while. I've got plenty of foreign um, routes. got plenty of France, plenty of America, some German. Um, I really like, I don't know, there's just something about uh, the UK trains on train sim. Hang on. I was about to say, it's 12.19 now. It's saying my ETA is 13.41. It's saying another hour and 20 minutes from here. That's impossible. We're due in at 13.08. How the hell are we going to be half an hour late? 
Is it based on my speed? That's going. That's going up. That's worrying. I can't go any faster than this. Well, I can faster than this, obviously, but I can't accelerate any faster than this. So why is that time going up? Get out and push. I think I might need to. Unless there's a big delay ahead that I don't know about yet. Yeah, and I haven't seen this thing go more than 90. It's still saying 1340. That's right. Hour and 20. It's because you're 20 seconds late at your last stop. Yes, yeah, so it adds on another, what? Uh, 34 minutes. Uh, Mr. Book B, thank you very, very much. Much as gracias. Much as gracias, Mishos, whatever it is. Thank you. Um, number two now in the, uh, in the bit giving in the last, um, well, the last stream. Wednesday, wasn't it? The last two days, yes. But thank you, Tux. Do appreciate that. Yes, Rich is in front of you, though. Rich went wild on Wednesday. All right, 88.8. .8. Sounds like a radio station. <laughs> Thank you, PD Boy. I really do appreciate that. So, PD Boy's number one. Uh, oh god, that's not that's not Gaz out now. Gaz is no longer in the top three, so it's uh, PD Boy in first, um, Rich in in second, and Tux in third. Uh, yeah, I like Rich, um, but yeah, thank you, uh, guys. Do appreciate that. Obviously, gained a couple of subscribers as well at the beginning of the stream, uh, which is awesome. I'm actually one subscriber away. Uh, from being at the most subscribers I've ever, ever been at because you know, people come and people go um, and the, I'm one away uh, from being at the most I've ever been at so uh, hopefully over the next couple of days of streams um, someone else subscribes which would be awesome and um, yeah get me to that uh, that level but yeah Gaz isn't here for the fame he's here for the beer and the women Right, 89.8 .8 miles an hour. This thing just won't get past 90, will it? But it's, it's going... Thankfully, the mileage is... Oh, it's not, the mileage is going down. The order is going up. Uh, that's now saying 13.44. Which is going up. If this was OMSI, I'd be thinking, I've missed a stop. If this was... Um, uh, X-Plane, I'd be thinking, I'm heading in the wrong direction. Um, but it strains him. I can't go in any other direction. I haven't missed a stop because the next one's Marleybone. I'm flat out, yet my time, my ETA is going up. I can't work this out. Someone say beer. I've got a case of it in the boot of my car that's been there since before Christmas. Uh, PD boy, you didn't need to do that, but thank you very much. Uh, I do appreciate that. And uh, Mook B, um, you subscribed. Thank you very much, Tux. You didn't know it. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Wow, you guys are awesome. Um, so there we go. I'm now at the 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 high the same level as of the highest level I've now ever been um, of subscribers, which is incredible. Um, thank you, everybody. I've always said I'm not in this for the um, um, the amount of subscribers or the money, which I don't earn from YouTube or Twitch. Uh, I'm in it because you guys make it enjoyable to do. Um, and yeah, I, I really do appreciate that. Uh, 
I saw a whistle thing back there, so I whistled. Right, we're doing 90 miles an hour. I think it's the fastest we've been. Is 90.4. Still, what's going on? I'm really confused by this. Which I know doesn't take much. Um, 1345 is now saying. I can't go any faster than 90. 44 miles, that's coming down. It may be a scenario is bugged out and there are trains ahead that just aren't moving out the way. I've had that happen before. Okay. So it probably isn't going to take me that time, but it's thinking it's going to take me that time. Well, we'll see. When we do get to Marleybone, uh, we will end the video uh, slash uh, street. Why am I going in the right direction? Well, I'm, I haven't put it in reverse. And I've ticked... Where's my thing? Uh, look, I've ticked all the stations. Hang on. It's saying I didn't pick up passenger from uh, Bista North. But I did. That's why. It's saying I didn't pick up the passengers from Bista North. Um, but I did. Yeah, so it's that. That's going to keep going up then, isn't it? Because it's thinking I haven't done that. There we go. That's why. I'm not braking, no. <laughs> the pro train sim. Again. <laughs> I have one job. Push, push that lever all the way forward and keep going in a forward direction and I failed <laughs> yeah that sounds familiar that Gaz actually the you had one job stick to my day, day job oh, god no so yeah so ignore the ETA then it's because it thinks I didn't stop at Vista um, yeah, I did. Oh, trackside view. It's very quiet here. There's no one on their phones. He's just sat looking out the window. What the? Okay, he's having a chill. what she's doing uh, I think Vista North was good I was like a minute late though it wasn't a lot late All right 90 miles an hour I think it's, it's, we're not going to get any more speed out of this thing Steve wasn't late, was it? It was like a minute late. I was doing actually okay up until that point. I was right on time. I was 23 seconds late for one of them. It was all good. There you go, see? In fairness, it was only 23 seconds late. Oh, train. Again, I still don't think they would use... Oh no, I had this discussion with myself earlier, didn't I? Whether they would use this sort of train uh, for this route, knowing that there's, what, 50 miles between these stops? Yeah, I think train sim is being a bit picky. But hey-ho. Hence <laughs> the song, 23 seconds to go. 23 seconds from Tulsa. No, hang on, that's a... Miles? Something like that. No. Thing. Was it 21 miles? I don't know. Some distance from Tulsa. Uh, right, we're down to a... Oh, I'd say down to a 90. I'm not even doing 90. We are down to an 85, so I better start braking. Oh, 
Well, he may have had his friend Stella around, is, is all I'm saying there. Um, there you go. <laughs> um, uh, fork out. He's probably eating, so uh, it'd probably come in handy, that. Uh, right, a 90, then an 85, and then back to a 90 again. There's one of Gaz's mob probably working along with the 85 bit in there. You're a something, Gaz. You're definitely a something. I bet that reduced speed of it then, whether it's just to be going through the through the station. Right, back to a ninety, then we're back to a hundred again. A bit single track. where the hell we are if you have just joined yes yeah, it's the Chiltern main line I'm on the just trains one uh, in a class 165 um, going from Birmingham Moor Street to London Marleybone um, we've stopped at uh, Solihull, Livington Spa, Warwick, Banbury, Bista and next stop is London Marleybone 24 hours from Tulsa you can't spell Tulsa either um, Got a nice little bit of track. That's like a rural line. Bit of uh, overgrown treeage. Yeah, ignore the ETA. It's because it thinks I didn't stop at um, at Bista. Yeah, I was 23 seconds late, so it told me off for that. Um, so where are we doing? Okay. Are you feeling right, Tux? No, never. Oh, we've got a downhill stretch now, so you might actually be able to come somewhere close to the speed limit. Still can't see how we are 33 miles away with an ETA of 1308. And we're doing like 90 miles an hour. It isn't going to take us... I can't do the maths. 35 minutes, is it? to do 33 miles at 90 miles an hour. It's just not. So unless there's some major speed restrictions coming up, um, or some um, yellows and reds as we come into London. Oh, here's one now, look, just talking about that, an 85. And then back to a 90 again. I should really enjoy this line. Might have to do some more on this uh, on this one. I'm have to look at getting some of the other trains. Because there's a few routes on this with trains that I haven't got. Like a Class 20, I think, was one of them. I don't know what that is. Um, I need to invest some uh, time and effort and money probably into um, some train sim stuff. Well, now I'm doing a bit more of it. I could uh, maybe uh, see if Just Trains will uh, maybe do a review on something again. 
didn't like it because last time he gave me something to review I didn't do it um, oh that sounds nice right 30 miles to go to Landon Spoiler warning, Steve, you're not going to do 90 miles an hour right into middle... Yeah, I know we're not going to do 90 into middle London, but I still can't see it's going to take that long. All right, speed limit change. Get back into in-cab. Down to a 60. Bing. And then back up to an eighty five. Actually, gone really quick this route. I enjoyed it. This one, to me, a little bit long between stations, like 50 miles. I quite like them when they're between sort of 5 and 10. So you've got just enough time to build up a little bit of speed and slow down again. But um, yeah, 50 is a bit excessive, but you know, we're nearly halfway. Wow, see, the way that that moves across there, that's ahead of a tight curve. It's probably a bit quick for that bend. Oh, train. And then the other side. So poor people that have got a coffee or something on the table. Don't know where we'd be now. If we were Bista, this is probably Oxford. Um, or something like that. Can't read it. Nope, no idea. Right, to an 85 again. Yeah, that's definitely broken in that that ETA is saying 13.53, it's 12.37. So it's thinking we've got another hour and 20 minutes to go yet before we get to London. And yet we're due in in, what, less than half an hour. Which it should be, it's a 110 minute scenario. Um, so it should be about 20 minutes. And the scenario will be roughly on time. So that's just about what I was uh, anticipating. Hundred limit coming up. Not that we're going to get to it. Yeah, I always forget about the map. There's a hell of a map. So there we are. And there's Marleybone. Oh, no, it's not. That's another train, isn't it? What the hell's going on there? So we've got to come all the way down to here. So there's two separate branches. Oh, that's quite cool. So we've done this. 
Aylesbury. We didn't do Aylesbury, did we? So where have we just come through then? Uh, High Wycombe. Where are we? Ah, there's a train coming the other way. Yeah, always forget about the map. So you could do the Aylesbury branch at uh, some point in the future. Bing. If you have just joined and you're new, by the way, um, you best start breaking now. Can't be too careful. Yeah, with 24 miles to go. Um, the Discord server um, that we've got will will be uh, mentioned soon by Nightbot, no doubt. Um, if you're into train sim at all, uh, do please check out the Discord server. Uh, it is a brilliant community. Um, and we're looking for a few more people to uh, start posting stuff, really, uh, in Discord. There's a handful of us that uh, are regular chatters and regularly get involved um, with uh, in Discord. Um, but we're looking for a few more people that are, you know want to talk about the game, scare, uh, scare, uh, share some screenshots. Um, and yeah, if you like being abused, the Discord server is awesome. Uh, it is it is really good. I'm really proud of the way that uh, the Discord server has, uh, has come about. So yeah, I'm sure Nightbot at some point soon will share a link. So if you're on Discord, hop on in and Tux will abuse you as soon as you arrive. So yeah, it's a regular thing or going to be um, on a Friday night doing a bit of train sim. Um, why proud? you not like anything to do it. I just set it up basically and and that's it. And just invited a few people to start it and it sort of steamrolled from there. Um, so yeah, next Friday we're back with um, uh, some uh, new forest uh, on train sim and then not the Friday after and then back the Friday after that. With fancy doing something going up to Scotland. I haven't done any um, anything north of Birmingham, I don't think, really, in train sim. So yeah, I need to do that. It's awesome because me, Gaz, and Sam are there. Well, yeah, well, you say that. Right, twenty miles to go is all we've got now. So we get into uh, London Marleybone. Or for our American cousins, uh, London Mary Lebone. And as Lara pointed out, yeah, I'm expecting some speed restrictions um, because it's saying we still got. 26 minutes to do 20 miles which you're not going to do at 90 miles an hour so we will be slowing down at some point and I should probably imagine in the next 5 or 6 miles we'll start getting some speed restrictions slowing us down I quite like the fact that there's a lot of traffic on this. Um, fairly realistic, the number of trains. I just do wish that somewhere, somehow, at some time in the future, we get multiplayer train sim. That would just be awesome. Because that could have been another person driving that train going the other way. Um, you know, have one line and you can just take a service and the train in front of you is driven by someone else. Obviously, you could have idiots that will just stop and, you know, um, jam up the whole network, couldn't you? But if you stop for a certain amount of time, it will just time you out, maybe. There's got to be something to control that. Um, but, uh, yeah, multiplayer train sim would be pretty epic, I think. Seventeen miles to go. 
definitely really liking this train. I am a DMU fan, and although uh, Larwood wasn't impressed with my train choice when I mentioned it to him before the stream, uh, it's not bad at all. I quite like it. Right, that's probably a better screenshot. There we go. So we've just got 17 miles to go. So where would this be? Uh, Marleybone's... Well, it's not West London, is it? Because that's Paddington. Um, I don't know. Marleybone is in London, is it? North... Northwest, then. I'm not sure. I don't know where Marleybone Station is. Marleybone, I'm guessing, before someone says it. Yeah, well, it's not the best. Um, what was that one I bought? The Armstrong Powerhouse thing. The 319? That was nice. Oh, near Baker Street. Uh, okay. So I'm going to see Sherlock Holmes while I'm there. I haven't seen Sherlock in such a long time. I want to watch those again as well. Too much stuff, not enough time. The hell's that part of? Cement more looks in this. So get get my sacks out. Oh yes, bit of Jerry Rafferty. Cue the music. We're going to be certainly ahead of the ETA unless things go really horribly wrong soon. Um, according to the stream length, we should be in the next 15 minutes maximum um, be there to be on time. And I reckon that's off next to Regent's Park. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've ever been to Marleybone Station. Duck. I'm duck again. Right, 13 miles out. We've got to get some speed restrictions soon, surely. What is this? This is some sort of depot, I should imagine. Is that tube trains? So that's going to be at the end of a tube line. <laughs> Goose. <laughs> Very good. So I guess that fence is separating. Yeah, it is. That's um, that's tube um, llama. What? Llamas with hats. You're impressed with that, Tuts. I haven't seen all of those, by the way. I've only seen two or three. Need to watch the rest of those. Um, yes, this is um, underground stuff. The other side of this fence is then. Which goes off around there. There we go, finally. If you are here and you haven't joined it already, there's the link to the Discord server. I will never watch another one voluntarily. I just, that was my sort of humour. I was really impressed, but I only watched three of them. Uh, I really must watch the rest of them. Right, 10 miles to go. This has been a really, really enjoyable route. 
mainly thanks to the company that I've had. Otherwise, I'd have just been sat here on my own. Huge thanks to the uh, three subscribers we've had um, this evening. Uh, so currently matching my highest subscriber level um, that I've ever been to, uh, which is brilliant. Um, and yeah, that's that's really really awesome. So if we get one more subscriber uh, over the weekend, so between um, tomorrow night's uh, stream and Sunday afternoon stream, then uh, it'll be um, it'll be better than um, I've ever been. Uh, what have you just linked? Llamas with hats. There we go. If you're wondering what we're talking about, there's uh, there's a link in the chat to uh, llamas with hats, which is just about my sort of humour. Uh, Tux wasn't impressed. But I must watch the rest of those. I might want me something to watch tomorrow morning, actually. when I'm busy at work. Um, right, eight miles to go now. And it's still saying we've got an hour and eight minutes to go. Hmm, I, I think I could walk it. In, no, I couldn't. I could jog. No, I couldn't. I could get a bus quicker than, uh, <laughs> than, it, than that says. Train. I'm liking the fact there's a lot of traffic coming the other way. That's pretty cool. And we're still at 100 limit. Exactly. Yeah, I, I need to watch them all. all. Right, 85 limit. So this is where we're going to start slowing down then. Ah, your falls are ring, are you? Yeah, it was Larwood uh, randomly posted it to me a couple of weeks ago. I was like, what the hell's that? Right, 85, then a 70, then a 60. So there we go, the slowdown begins. So we'll see tomorrow what the interest is in doing a trucking stream tomorrow night. Uh, if I can get four or five of us together, then we'll do some trucking. Um, if not, then um, I could do some more uh, Forza. Yeah, I will. Um, I'll try and remember to watch them tomorrow morning. Wembley Stadium. Well, I've just gone past it or you're going past it? I went to the old Wembley Stadium. Um, actually did a really interesting tour of the old Wembley Stadium. That was really cool. Well, it would be nice to do some trucking. I've done any trucking for a while. So it'd be nice to do some trucking for a bit and then maybe some falls are afterwards. The last time um, went to do some trucking, there was just three of us. Oh, tube train going the other way, though. Right, four miles to go. Yeah, I haven't done any since New Year's Eve. Um, so it would be nice to do some. And then, yeah, I could always jump on Forza afterwards. So it'd be nice to do a couple of hours trucking. And then I could dual stream. I could do a couple of hours trucking, stop that, and then do some, uh, do some Forza. I 
Right, four miles to go. So yes, we're back tomorrow night doing something. Um, and then back Sunday afternoon for a bit of flight sim. Uh, next plane. And then could be back again uh, next Wednesday as well with some more flight sim. And then uh, streaming as normal next weekend, but uh, not the weekend after. Right, 3.4 to go. So you haven't slowed down too much, you've got a 50 limit. So there's the London Underground, um, well there's Overground, uh, tracks the other side of the uh, the fence there. I was expecting to slow down a bit more than this actually, but... Two miles to go. To see any more underground trains because they're pretty frequent. Two point three to go. There's an underground train down there, I think. stopped. That's quite well modelled actually. I've got a circle line uh, route for this as well um, that I'll add to the list to do one day. Right, 25 coming up. And into the tunnel we go. Okay. What happened there? I didn't do a thing. I was trundling along quite nicely. And it decided to stop. There are a lot of things on my to-do list. There are a lot, hell of a lot of things on my to-do list. Most of them I don't get round to. Um, that was disappointing. One mile from the end. Uh, and... Oh, <laughs> I picked up passengers at seven out of nine platforms, but it didn't let me get to the last one. How can I pick up platforms and last one? Um, yeah, I'm guessing the route crashed. Um, and it reckoned I didn't pick up from Vista anyway. And I was speeding seven times. Apart from that, uh, it went quite well. Um, so there we go. I gained an hour and 45 minutes in the class 166, 165 even, drove 110 miles. Um, uh, what a pain that is. Well, there we go. Um, right. Well, a couple of minutes earlier than I planned to then. Um, I will end that there. Um, huge thank you to uh, all that have been chatting uh, this evening uh, in, uh, well, in chat, obviously. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you very much to the three subscribers um, that again this, this evening. Um, one was an unknown well, a subscriber that didn't necessarily uh, expect to be subscribing. Um, so thanks to PD Boy. Uh, thanks to Gaz. And thanks to Noz um, for uh, for the s subscriptions. Uh, much appreciated. Thanks for the bits uh, to PD Boy uh, and Tux as well and uh, Gaz uh, for the bits. Um, early finish, I demand a refund. Uh, you can demand your subscription back. Speak to Pete. Um, and yes, be back tomorrow night with something. 
hopefully some ETS2 if I can get a few people uh, to join us uh, we'll do a couple of hours of trucking uh, in ETS2 uh, and then uh, if there's any interest again really enjoyed doing Forza Horizon 4 last week so it could be that we'll stop the stream in ETS2 and then start again with some Forza Horizon and uh, have, a, have a bit of time mucking around on that and then back Sunday afternoon um, with uh, hopefully be myself Sam um, Chris Brown uh, Chaos and possibly a surprise guest uh, as well flying around uh, between Skegness and Blackpool uh, in something low and slow um, to look at some awesome scenery hopefully um, I'm really looking forward to that flight um, that's Sunday afternoon um, so yes that will be on YouTube as well uh, if you're watching this on YouTube so there we go I'm going to disappear um, thanks everybody for watching chatting doing everything and I will catch you all again tomorrow night <laughs>